Hi, this is Andy Nathan with AndyNathan.net, and we're going to be talking today about WP auctions. And as you can probably see here from this page, I've actually already created an auction here with WP auctions. And I'm going to just show you how it works and how you can use it to actually create auctions through WordPress. First of all, let me go to my back end. I'm at AndyNathan.MarketLately.com. This is on my WordPress MU site. And what I do is there's a uh, WP Auctions tab here. This is a plugin. There are free and then there are paid versions as well. And uh, for those of you who are interested in some of the more premium versions, there's actually a uh, link below that you can take a look at some of the free, the premium versions. However, for what I chose, I decided to go with the free, so it's up to you with whatever you decide to do. So I'm going to go here first to WP Auctions, show you the basics of how it works. What they do is they want you to add different auctions here. And they put everything in here through, for the free version, it's all in here in the widgets. And I'll show you how I got around doing the widgets and making it look a little bit cooler here. What I did was I basically created an auction title for all the different things I'm doing here. I created the currency that I'm using, I'm in American dollars, where my bid notification should go to. I don't use eBay that much, so I don't really need eBay feedback. If there's any other auctions, I could show that, but I don't really have anything. And then I could show where I want my pay, where I want my uh, bank details and everything else. As you see here, I only have PayPal because that's the only way I want to get paid. The other thing I like here is I could actually change what the background color is to these different options. The earth is pretty ugly by the way, just telling you right now. And if I want a auction alternatives, I can put some HTML code in there. So since I'm not really good at HTML, I'm leaving that out. I'm going to hide my RSS link if I want to publish an auction RSS feed. That's if you want people to know if you're doing multiple auctions, you could have it go out to, you could put it into an RSS link, and then you could use that RSS link and put it onto social media and other sites like that. Right now, I'm just doing one auction, so I don't really think that's necessary. There's remote bugs, then this is something that you could use for support. Everything's now saved. I'm now going to go over here to... First of all, if I want to add a new campaign, I go to add. Since I already have a campaign, I'm just going to go to manage auctions. Now, the one thing I am having problems here is I cannot get the picture to actually show here, which is a bit of a huge deal here, especially in the thumbnail. That's Part of it is that I'm not doing anything that's really necessary to have pictures, but I would like to have a picture if possible. So I'm going to go in here to edit the auction so you can see what you do when you're actually adding the auction in there. First of all, you're going to put in the, the title. You have, I have a day with Andy. Basically what I'm doing for this WP auction is I'm allowing people to do an auction bid on an eight hour strategy session with me for whatever they want. So if they want me to create their blogs, they need me to write blog posts, write email articles, help them set up their email autoresponder, help them set up their social media campaigns, do a Facebook fan page for them, whatever they need. I am there for them for eight hours. If you want me to just sit there for eight hours with you and do your strategy, that's fine. It's your choice. I am your social networking person for the day. The next part is after you do the description, you could actually put in a picture. And this is where I was having some problems here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get rid of this picture here. And especially since the picture is not actually working. Let's just see if we can remove it all together. I don't know if that will actually work. Um, if you remember, just do it here. Oh, there is actually some instructions here of what to do if uh, your pictures don't appear. You could actually apparently FTP it. However, I don't want to just necessarily do that just yet. So I'm still learning the system if you can't tell. Uh, start price is $100. And then if you continue to go down below, I also have what the end date is. And I have the ending being this Friday, June 22nd at 10 o'clock. Payment method is PayPal. And I'm going to go here to update auction. And then I'm going to just go up here, hit refresh. And, oh, it shows WP auctions here instead of that. So that's a little better because at least it doesn't look like a white line. I guess apparently I'll have to FTP it. I now have an auction. Now, you're probably wondering, if you have to put this in the widget section, how did you get this to be front and center? 
Well, that's a great question. What I decided to use was I used Elegant's new convertible theme. It's sort of like Builder, but it's cheaper, first of all. And secondly, you also get all the other Elegant themes. And uh, for those of you who are interested in learning more about Elegant themes, you could actually check below. We did a Guru Gusher on Elegant themes last uh, week, yeah, two weeks ago. The point is, this is a tremendous system. And I was able to use WP Auctions and, El and Elegant Themes Convertible, put it all together. So I put a header at the top with a full day of internet marketing strategy with Andy Nathan. That's my header. Then the widget area is right below that where you see the WP Auctions and that was it. And then I have a description down below. And the only thing I wish I could do here is I wish I could cut out some of the extra space here because there's way too much space going on. Other than that, it's kind of nice. Let me know what you think. I'll be putting this on my blog so you can learn about WP Auctions. And for those of you who are interested in a full day of internet marketing strategy with Andy Nathan, go to andynathan.marketlately.com. Thank you very much.